If it's only green paper, what makes it so valuable? They don't understand why rectangles of paper or plastic have value. We have faith in our government, the government says it's worth something. For critical resources like money, having some sort of centralized infrastructure is actually a very dangerous thing. The world is incredibly interconnected in ways that we didn't fully appreciate. Congress has hammered out the most far-reaching rescue package of America's financial system. Over the past week, Greeks have withdrawn more than one and a half billion euros. At the ATMs, people yeah. couldn't take out more than 60 euro per day, and then they ran out of 10 euro bills. I think this will be the most consequential thing post-war. And people are unable to store their value in any way. They need to have some sort of alternative. On January 2nd, 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto released his free, open source Bitcoin software on the internet, inviting anyone to use it. Bitcoin could be a cheaper alternative to the cost and bureaucracy of existing banks and financial institutions. Bitcoin itself, it's not connected to a fiat currency. It is not connected to any currency in the world that is backed by any sovereign nation. And so Bitcoin is in many ways a reaction to the colossal failure by the incumbent system. All of the proponents of Bitcoin feel that it's inherently better than government-backed currencies. Neither of us need to trust each other and we don't have any access to each other's data and there's no central entity that has access to that data. In our increasingly global economy, wouldn't we benefit from a worldwide currency? Bitcoin has passion in abundance. I've never seen a group of more talented engineers, mathematicians, entrepreneurs, CEOs. We've got Zynga, Dish Network, Dell, Overstock. These are all publicly traded companies that are accepting Bitcoin now. People are often adverse to change. Yeah, it's like trying to explain the internet in 1994. Yeah. The companies that do not ad adopt the technology will find themselves in stiff competition. The only way to turn Bitcoin off is to shut off the internet forever. We have a lot of work to do, but I think in 25 years, Bitcoin will be the backbone of our financial systems.